Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome back to our dino park. So, a couple things I want to talk about. As you can see, I've done some work on our base, and we have some NPCs. We have William here, who's a construction manager, who buys and sells some different building materials. Uh, Mika, resource manager. She helps us buy and sell some of our basic resources. Rotherson here, he's going to sell some tools. I've got to finish, you know, pricing and adding in some other tools and stuff for him. And Dr. Anderson over here, he's our lead analyst. He operates the analyzer and the sifters and the culture vat and all that. And he has an interesting store here. Frozen meat, he buys some books, which is cool, because I've been finding a lot, I mean, a lot of books. And he buys these for research experiments, which basically just deals with uh, stuff research dinosaurs. And there's going to be some other NPCs that will trade in the research experiments. And here we have a culture vat. And I did some work with that one blew up with some plant fossils and I got some of these saplings. And we've been doing some sifting here and got some of this stuff. And I've been doing a lot of analyzing. I've been doing both buying fossils and relic scraps from Dr. Anderson here, as well as going out in the world and finding fossils so and of course I've been getting them here as well and yeah we've been chugging along and I've been working a lot on the base and this is the bottom floor here I told you we were going to have a fully stacked kitchen or fully functional kitchen and here's our refrigerator here's a refrigerator we've got some cabinets up above here we have an oven a table and some bar stools. I have a microwave. We have a sink that allows us to get water like this watch. I know having it under the microwave probably not the best thing in the world, but and you know, but what can we do? And up here we have Pam's Harvest Craft cooking utensils and a presser here, which reminds me I need I need to get more soybeans. I need to start a soybean farm. So before I press the soybeans, I'm going to make a small farm. And I've been working on getting the storage stuff sorted out here so there's not a thousand chests everywhere. This is a multi-page chest. This is cool. Page 1, page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5. Helps us get some of the other junk organized. Bird eggs that I've been finding as I've been going out in the world. Uh, same with these, fish. I've been going out and doing some fishing. I lost my fishing net, so I'm going to have to make another one. That's basically just sticks and string. But another thing that I wanted to talk to you guys about is we still need a name. You know, we need a name for our area, and we need a name for the research station that we're in here. So, yeah, so you guys, you know, make some comments. Let me know what you think. And today, we're going to get into this area here. This is going to be our first, hopefully our first dinosaurs. And... I'm thinking about doing a couple, you know, doing uh, a seal camp and maybe a Nautilus. So, yeah, those are going to go in here. And it's just a simple little tank set up that I got that we can watch them right from here. There's a computer. We can set that and do research. And we can even order stuff off of Mine Bay, which I guess is supposed to be like eBay. But yeah, that's that. Then we'll go upstairs. I haven't got this building 100% completely done yet. 
But I've been working on it. This is going to be our first expansion out in here. And we have our anvil, dishwasher, washing machine. Washing machine, you put soapy water into it. You put your armor in it. And it heals it. Same with the dishwasher here. That's what we're going to do for today. We're going to put all of our tools in here. It's best to have... I have it full, you know, like that. I have all of our tools in there. And then we hit start, and it does its thing. It does its thing, and it, 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 uh, it repairs them. So we're going to do that, and I wanted to show you that. And I want to do a level 33. I want to do a level 30 enchant on a pick, but I want to wait for it to get done there first. So, and we'll come upstairs here. The higher up you get here, you notice that I haven't really done as much the higher we go. We'll come out here like this. Just gives us a nice view over on the compound. And I extended this out. This is that expansion that I was talking about. You see it there. Just a nice roof where we can come over here and look out over it from there. And there's a couple things down here I want to talk about while our tools are upgrading. And it's nighttime, so let's hop in bed real quick. And I have died a couple times since the wizard was blown up by a creeper. Yeah, unfortunate. I was out doing some mining. And just didn't realize it was behind us. There's this little attic space that we can look out over our entranceway. And I've done some stuff, started to get, you know, started to, started to do some stuff with farming. Gee, I can talk, I knew it there. And let's check out our dishwasher. What the hell? See? Every so often something comes in. I'm going to have to whack this guy with their bare hands. This might be another death, guys. I think we might have him. Very so often something comes in from that area. Since we don't uh, have a wall or anything there yet. So it's not entirely the safest. But it's getting better. That needs to hurry up because I'm going to need my tools. Alright, now. And I'll just show you outside here. This is where just where you can come out here. And this is water chest. In the thing. You can actually eat that. It's pretty cool. And we have a couple of weeds. Just a little tank to start off. And I have these vines here, Swedish ivy, in the plant mega pack. I have them growing there because they're a good source of cactus green. The dye that you need from or for the cultivators because these cultivators do fail. And speaking of which, while we're doing other stuff, let's get us a let's start off with a nautilus. We'll throw it in here, and it'll use some of the chicken that I got saved up for this. And it takes forever, so we'll come back to that. We'll go out and we'll look at some other stuff out here. I made a trash bin, which, you know, junk you collect and don't need and want to throw away. After you've been adventuring, you come back, put it in here, click empty, it'll dump it all out. Down here we have a fish trap, which gets us some nice stuff. A sugar cane farm over here. We have a couple animal traps. I need to make bait for it. That gets us some nice resources. 
and we need to come over here. <coughs> Excuse me. I got us some cows because you can also use milk. Oh, there's a new pet there. Cows. I believe I had four cows. I don't know what going on there. Anyhow, we have some cows. Got a nice apple tree from Growthcraft here. Gives us a lot of apples. I've been using the apples to make fruit bait for the animal traps. And we'll do that in just a moment. We'll just do some uh, just do some chores here while we're waiting for our tools. We'll do some general infrastructural stuff around the base. And you can pick these apples, and they do grow back. They grow back after a time. Uh, here's some centella, which is a food. That's just a recreation. Water spinach, also a food. And over here, watercress. All edible stuff. See what I mean? They grow back. And cotton over here. Cotton is really cool because to make the animal bait or the, the bait for the traps, you need string. And with this kind of cotton here from Pam's Harvest Craft, you, it will allow you to craft into string. So that's cool. Oh, that's some more here. I'll turn these into seeds. Where did they go? I threw them. And turn these into seeds. Here's another one somewhere. I just picked it up. I threw it out somehow. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Got another portal over there. I went and spent some time in the nether. Collected some materials, some resources to build some of our kitchen stuff. I needed quartz, so I went to the Nether and spent a couple hours harvesting some different stuff. Found another fortress, found the blaze spawner. I managed to get one blaze rod. Decided I had had enough and I was going to die if I stayed any longer. So, I got one blaze rod and came back. That'll be enough to make us a brewing station to make some potions and stuff like that, which is fine. May need, may need some healing potions here and there, things like that. And I found all these saplings for the, all these trees as I was out adventuring in the world. I didn't record any of it because. It was honestly quite, quite boring. I found some saplings. But how you get the saplings for these is you take an oak sapling or a jungle sapling. Like, for the grapefruit, it has to be a jungle sapling because it grows on juniper. Same figs. But you combine these fruit or spices with the corresponding. Sapling that they grow with, and it gives you that kind of sapling. And I'll do some general maintenance here. Gather us up some food. Some more food, I should say. Hopefully, we get some more soybeans. We got one from the soybean. Awesome. Alright, and. Let's do some wheat farming. We'll replant this. That will need to be enlarged at a later date. But now that we've done that, see the growth craft tree. Apple tree has regrown, starting to regrow its apples. We will check our 
fish trap one more time before we go in. Still just that. Not a big deal. Go in here. Go into our fridge. Take care of some of our stuff. Not very. All this stuff needs to be taken care of. I don't know if I don't need to go in there. Wheat does. Seeds go up here. Fruit all goes in here. And speaking of apples, apples and string. We'll keep that and I'll show you what we're going to do there. Let's check and see if we, got, we have a living Nautilus. Awesome. Now let's go get some coelacanth DNA, and let me see if I can find it without hovering over everything. Right there. Throw that in. Check and see how this is going. Holy cow, we're getting a lot of these. A lot of this, a lot of this. A lot of the pottery shards and things like that. That's awesome. A lot of gravel. Okay, and then when we get a lot of stuff like this, I just usually come over here and do this. And we're going to get a lot of experience. Is coming like that. This is what I've been doing. And then I'll come and I'll buy a bunch of like frozen meat or whatever like that. Then, oh, Micah says that. Or buys that, I should say. I did some of this stuff like that to figure out what to do with a lot of the stuff that just sits around in your inventory, you know? Like the gravel and the flint. Bone meal. With this mod, you, you get an inordinate amount of bone meal, sand, gravel. And just odd things like that. And just sit in your inventory. So I figured, why not do something fun? Why not do something fun with all that excessive, all those excessive resources? So that's why I started putting in the NPCs and having them do trades for things like the experience and stuff like that. So I figured, you know, what the heck? Make it fun. Make it. Interactive. You know, go and trade with different vendors and things like that. And now, let us let's check our gear here. See how that's doing. I'm doing good. I fix almost done. We're just uh oh, cultivating failed. I don't think I can take. Yeah, I can. That means we have a Phalosaurus down here. There it is. When it fails, you get stuff like that. That pops up. You get It creates a, um, a water source block. It blows up. Puts the iron down here. Fortunately, you get the DNA back. So that's a good thing. Uh, we need another cultivator. I did manage to find another one of these research centers. I didn't record it because it didn't really have much of anything other than a bit of the DNA. And 
And pretty much that was about it. So, okay, now. Let's go. And hatch our first dinosaur. A Nautilus. Check that out. Ta-da! We have successfully brought back something from an extinct age. Where'd it go? It took my eye off for a second. Oh, it dove, it dove down. That's okay. Alright, swim around in this little enclosure there. And that is pretty awesome. Now, what we can do, the reason why I built it there, because when we come in like this, we can stand here and pretend that we're studying it and whatnot. And yeah, that is pretty, pretty cool, if I do say so myself. I wouldn't, I don't know if I would necessarily call it our first dinosaur. But it is indeed our first prehistoric creature. A little trivia fact about the Nautilus is it's a, uh, I believe it was one of the first crustaceans. Um, I believe it was actually more closely related to cephalopods like squid and octopus than it was related to actual crustaceans like crabs and whatnot. Just a little, you know, neat little fact. And, you know, you can do some research on it yourself. They were actually a pretty interesting, pretty interesting uh, creature. Most of the, um, the fossils of the Nautilus and related um, crustaceans and cephalopods were are the most common of the sea. You know, fossils of creatures that you find from the sea are the most. Um, they're the fossils that are the most common. Of the sea creatures. You know, it's really rare to find like a megalodon fossil or mosasaur or things like that. You'll most you'll more commonly find small cephalopod fossils and crustacean fossils of smaller sea creatures like that. So, yeah. And now let's just hope our coelacanth here hatches. And this is pretty cool. The culture that has an animated texture, which is really awesome. Really cool. Brings some more life to the game. Looks like a little embryo in there. And this is analyzing frozen meat. You can get some awesome stuff from this. Like the pork chops and things like that. Smilodon, Dodo, Terror Bird. Really interested in doing Smilodon. Smilodon is the saber tooth cat, the saber tooth tiger. I really want to do Smilodon and Terror Bird. And these can be gotten from the frozen meat. And let's see how we do We have a stack of that we can sell. And we're just doing our thing. We're waiting. I'm not entirely certain what we're going to put in this ring yet. I might take this glass out here. And extend the glass out and take out the water right here. I'm not entirely sure yet. Another thing I want to do is I want to make a, like a fishing dock somewhere. And have an NPC fisher person. Maybe a fisherman. I don't know. I might bring Mel. Mel the fisherman. Because we're getting stacked up with some of this stuff here. I know messages in the bottle can be right clicked and you can smelt the tin cans down to iron ingots and things like that but 
I think it'd be more fun to use them. We have a swamp sewer in it. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's release him. Holy crap, is he big. They are bigger than I expected them to be. And the sewer camp, the coal camp, as some people call them, both pronunciations are correct, by the way. The, I, I learned how to pronounce it, sewer camp. But anyhow, they are, the sewer camp, they are a prehistoric bony fish, similar in body build to like a carp. They're very like armored and bony. Uh, they were considered to be extinct until recent years. But yeah, our first two prehistoric creatures. Let's take a look at our DNA. What kind of DNA we have? Smilodon, Dodo, Terror Bird, Plasmatherium, and Quagga. Quagga were like a uh, like a mixture between a donkey, a zebra, and a horse. Very interesting creatures. I, wa I want to say let's do Terror Bird. Let's do Terror Bird first. <clears throat> but no, I want to basically work my way up, starting with uh, something small. Then working our way up to something like the Allosaurus or uh, T Rex, Brachiosaurus, Triceratops. Mammoth, those that would be awesome. I definitely want a couple of those. Let's put in a couple of the dodos. And in the next episode, if this works, if we get dodo eggs that we can hatch. In the next episode, we will hatch a couple of dodos. And we're starting to get name tags. And I don't know if I have a recipe for those. No, I can't craft them, unfortunately. But I have been getting from here, from these fish traps. They will, they will sometimes uh, fish up saddles, name tags, enchanted books, fishing rods, and things like that. So let us end the episode with a little bit of fishing. I got a new fishing rod that I wanted to check out. I'm going to throw those two in there. That's busy chugging away. That's doing its thing. I got this new fishing rod that I want to check out. So let's. Let's check that out. Let's see if we can catch any fish. No, I actually prefer the aquaculture fishing rod, like the iron fishing rod, gold fishing rod, diamond fishing rod, because they catch more interesting things. These vanilla fishing rods, you know, we all know what they catch. They catch hardly nothing. So, anyhow. Thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're having fun with this series. I'm having an absolute blast with this series. I'm having a lot of fun. A lot, a lot of fun. And we, I'm, I'm really looking forward to having our first actual dinosaur exhibit. But I want to start off actually, like I said, start off a little slow. There are a couple of the like prehistoric creatures that are dinosaurs. We'll start off doing that. And then we'll lead up into it. Eventually, I promise, we will have all the big dino exhibits like the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops and the Brachiosaurus. Of course, we're going to have the Velociraptors. 
and very soon here we will actually start working on the dino park itself. I'm going to build a nice big gate. You know, it'll be over here across the bridge. I believe it's out over this direction. Yeah, there at the end of the gate, we're going to have a huge, or at the end of the bridge, we're going to have like a, this huge gate leading us into the park. And there's going to be a wall around the park. The, the wall is probably going to come around like this and take in a bunch of this area here and back across that plains over there and around. Also, guys, if you want to leave me a message in the comments, leave me a comment and let me know what would be the first dinosaur that you want us to build an exhibit for and hatch. Let me know. Let me know what dino you think we should breed first. Although, what I do want to do for the first dino. I want to make the first dino an herbivore. Plant eater. Because I believe those will be easier to start off with. I believe an herbivore will just be easier. And what I would also like to get in this pond here, I'd like to get us a couple swans that swim around here. You know, maybe we'll build a nice nest for them. I'll build a, maybe we can build a nest, a realistic looking nest. You know, a nest like they would have in the wild. Oh, yeah, so we go. One thing I want to do real quick. I wanted to show you why I, why I kept those apples in that string. Because that is something we need to do too, because we need the fish, or the, not the fish, but we need the chicken and things like that. You take the string, you take your apples, and you go like this, and it makes fruit bait. It gives you four per craft. Then you come out like this. Come on. And I also do need to make one of the Pan's Harvest Craft fishing baits. And you take your bait, you put it in like that, you put it in like that, and the stuff catches shows up over here. It's just a really nice, easy way to get resources. And of course, the fish traps. Those are a good way. I need a lot of bowls from that. So maybe I'll use, use something, you know, make some kind of food that would do that. And the fridge here from cooking with blockheads. I might make another one of those and put it here for like prepared foods. I might take this one out. This one's kind of small. I might make a couple more of these. But these are really easy to make. Wrong one. Let's see, at cooking. Fridge. Iron door chest. I'm going to have a cooking oven. Most that's not hard to make flat stained glass, iron ingots. And a cooking table. This one, a little harder to make. Black stained clay. Cooking for blockheads too. Six cup of diamonds, crafting table. And cooking for black as well, which I have some of the first books right here. And these are really easy to use because you're out you're wandering around, you get a few things in your inventory. You get like some ginger, some mustard, um, beans, eggplant, and you say, "What well, can I make with all this crap in my inventory?" And it tells you. You can make apple juice, apple sauce, 
cooked fish, of course, fresh water, cooked salmon, cooked fish fillet, grilled eggplant, you can make mustard, you can make salt, you can make stock. When you click it, see the recipe, and it tells you all that. How do you make salt? Hot, fresh water. Make mustard, juice it in mustard seeds. Grilled eggplant, just throw it in there. Fresh water, just from the water bucket. We all know how to make this simple stuff. And applesauce. You pot an apple. Then you just come over here. You grab your tool if it needs it. And you just do that. You make applesauce. And normally you wouldn't throw the pot on the floor. Not very good uh, hygiene. Throwing your cooking utensils on the floor. Anyhow. Hope you guys are having a wonderful time with this. I'm having an absolute blast. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. And I will also be continuing on with the zoo series. So I just decided to do this as just a little fun side adventure thing. And just to have a little fun because I've always wanted to do like a dinosaur park ever since I've seen one of the very first YouTube videos I watched about Minecraft was somebody doing a dinosaur park. And it was just like, I just had it in my head, you know, I've always wanted to do it, so I'm giving it a shot. And our silicate seems to have either despawned or gotten away, which that sucks. And no, it wasn't the coelacanth that I killed, it was fantastic fish mob fish that I killed. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. I'm going to work on getting some more name tags so we can name these creatures that we spawn in so they don't despawn. Okay, until then, guys. I hope you guys have an awesome day.